Udah kali mama kayak mampir sama Mika Good morning, Edwin. Good morning, Marianne. Good morning. Good morning, Mas. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Miss Katsin. Good morning, Yuri. It's 9.50. It's time to start our Monday class. Good morning, Alan. It's Monday. It's chilly. It's nice weather. It's a good way to morning, start Miss. the team. Good morning, Ernest. So let's start with a word of prayer by Miss Mai. Would you lead us in prayer, Miss Mai?
Okay. Um, Ms. Mai, did you have an, an announcement for the students about the activity one? I think I have it open. Yes, I have it open. It's for this coming week, right? It's for okay. Just a moment. No, miss. No, miss. Miss, I have a question. Miss. Okay, sure. Yeah, when dividing okay, the so, parts, oh. it's just to make a line, miss, where you will divide, miss.
Okay, let's start this class with our basic rules. Be on time, turn on your cameras. Please turn on your cameras, this first activity. I will ask all of you to turn on your cameras. Mute your mic, self-confidence, respect others, and no eating. So in today's objectives, we will outline the steps to find the fraction of an amount, calculate or find the fraction of an amount correctly, and seek the use of fractions and its applications in society. So to start, we will play a game that says stand up, sit down. Rules, turn on your camera. So everyone, let's turn on our cameras. I will read a statement. Notice I will only read the statement. And you will stand up if you think the answer is yes or sit down if the answer is no. Listen carefully and let's have some fun. So please turn on your cameras, everybody. I do not see some of you turning on your cameras. It doesn't matter if you are, okay. Some of you that are sick, that do not, um, that have your reasons, please, if that's okay with you, well, just leave it like that. But for those of you that can, let's do that quickly. I will stop sharing this for a while so that I can see all of you. We still have some students that are not turning on their cameras. So we need to start. So let me see the, those of you that can turn on your cameras. Let's go ahead. The first question is fractions are part of a whole. Stand up if you think the answer is yes, or sit down if you think the answer is no. Fractions are part of a whole. Okay, I see some of you standing up and some of you just sitting down. Okay, good. The second question, multiplication and division of fractions are computed exactly the same stand up if you think the answer is yes or sit down if you think the answer is no okay the question is multiplication and division of fractions are computed exactly the same way so you do the same the same steps to compute for multiplication and division of fractions. Who thinks it's a yes or who thinks it's a no? I want to see one person. Okay, now I can see many of you. So if you think it's yes, stand up. If you think it's no, sit down. I see many of you seated. So let's move to the third question. Division of fractions change to multiplication. I do not want you to tell me yes. I want you to stand up or sit down. Okay, that's a good thing to do, Ernest. Okay, I see many of you standing up and some of you sitting down. Okay, good. So if you stood up for the first question, you were right. If you sit it for the second question, you were right. And if you stood up for the third question, you were right. Okay, so let me just share my screen again. So I... I just want to test you how much you know from last week because we will be continuing with fractions. Now, for some, let me see how many minutes, like two to three minutes that we have. Let me, let me share this screen instead. I have made a, Jamboard with all your initials. I don't know what I stopped sharing. Sorry about that. My computer is giving a little trouble. Okay. 
So in this Jamboard, I have all your initials because last time, can you use my screen? No, miss. No, miss. No, miss. No. I don't know why it's not showing. Just a moment. Just give me a moment. Now, oh, yes, miss. Now, oh, yes. Right? So, so I did this jam board with all of your initial, right? So, I will show you what you will do. Miss, you come up, miss. I'm sorry if the screen, I don't know why it's sharing. I just noticed that I don't know why it's stopping me from sharing. It doesn't allow me to share. Okay. Now he is missed. Okay. So it has all of your initials. So you will only edit the one that has your initial. So you will go to this. Let's see, Alan is the first one. He will click on it. You will go to the three dots and you will edit, right? Once you will edit, you will type whatever there and save, right? So everyone has their own one. So no one should be editing nor deleting anyone else's work, right? So I will share this um this with you. Just a moment. And I will deny the access in a little time, right? So, those of you that can enter in the jam board, please do so. And the instructions read, write one word or phrase that comes to your mind when you hear fraction of an amount or a whole number. Remember, just edit your sticky note. Do not edit anyone else's. If you want to delete something, just um, write or Tap the backspace column, nothing else. I'll just give you two minutes to do this and then we continue. By this, I can also see how many of you are participating that are in the class, right? So what comes to your mind, a word or a phrase, when you hear fraction of an amount or of a whole number? Do not use the pen. We are not using the pen. So do not go here in this little pen. Just go in the sticky note and edit. Right? So you just have... What you are to do, I am... Um, I have a jump board that you can see. It has all your initials. The link is in the chat box. So you will enter a word or a phrase that comes to your mind when you read or listen Excuse to the me, phrase. Excuse me, I'm not able to see nothing in the chat box. You don't see anything in the chat box? Yes. Kennedy, that's why I sent you a message yesterday that you have this app ready because we will use it today. So if you did not check your Google Classroom, then that means that you do not know we are to use this one, right? So I just give you one more minute and then we continue with our class session. Miss. Yes, Ernest. What was it? The question, Miss. It is there in the jam board. Write one phrase that comes to your mind when you hear the word 
or the freest fraction of an amount. So I deny the access right now, and we will continue with the class. I want to see a few of you sharing your chat, so that means that many of you are there not doing something, right? So I will deny the access. And we continue our class session, right? So, yes, I was the fraction of a whole. <laughs> oh my God! Sorry, Ernest. Um, we can Same. put it in later when the the class finish. We can put it right. So don't worry. Just a moment. So today we'll be doing fractions of a whole, a quantity, or an amount. Fraction, a fraction tells you how many parts of a whole there are. When we find a fraction of an amount, we are out how much that part is worth within the whole. So there are two ways to find this, but I will not tell you how it's found. You will try to do it on your own. So I hope you have your 16 um small stones or pieces of paper i don't know how i so you will find one fourth of that 16 stones use any way you can manipulate the stones in anyone in any way you can i will not tell you yes if it is correct no it is not correct you just do what you think you can do with that and come up with a rule Remember, you do not have to be correct. You are doing plenty by just trying, right? So let's do that. I'll give you two minutes to arrange or to move or to do whatever you want with those 16 stones. And if you think you have found one fourth of the stones, of the stones, sorry, come up with a small rule. This is what I did. This can be done to four of the 16 stones, right? Let's do that two minutes, I'll give you, and then we continue or to share our, our one fourth of the 16 stones. So that means from everything, right? So let's do that two minutes, and then we start sharing our little rules that we did. Manipulate however you can, but I do want to see if you can come up with a rule. And I do not see some of you um, turning on your thumbs. Finish, Miss. Okay, Ernest says he has finished. Did you create like a little rule? Yes, miss. Let's wait on the, on the others. Okay, good. Let's wait on the others. Finish. Let's see, how can you come up with a rule? Any else has finished? Can I send it, Miss? Finished. Just now, just now. Okay, I will. Okay. I don't know why my screen takes a lot to share. I'm not sharing that anymore.
So what are some rules that you came up with? Let me hear. What is, is a rule that you came up with? Could you repeat? My statement one. Yeah, sure, you can see it, your one. Dividing, miss. Okay, so dividing. Okay, some of you are seeing dividing. Just a moment, let me write it. So what are you dividing? The whole number you have missed by the amount you're being asked for, miss. The whole amount, but what you're being asked? Yes, miss. Because your whole number is 16, miss. Okay. And you're asked for one fourth. Well, so I divided by four, miss. It, my internet is really giving me some trouble today. Means it's you Six and divided by four, okay. Internet at no goodness. It's, it's me, don't worry. It's me. It's my internet that is giving me some trouble. Okay, Ryan also said he was dividing the whole number by the denominator. Good. Good observation. Okay, that's a good observation. So we have basically one, a little rule there where we divide by the denominator, right? But Jordan says plus one, which is the numerator. So what some of you are saying, uh, uh, we use both the denominator and the numerator, right? So let's write this here. We use the numerator and we also write the denominator, right? Okay, good. So right now we'll see how can we adjust these rules, right? But to continue now to, to know the second way to do this, then we do another activity. I'm sorry, I don't know why. This skips. Okay. You guys, the problem, come up with a rule or to solve the problem and then we share the rules. So I will give you two problems. Let me see. No, it's not here. No, it's not. Just a moment, I cannot see where it is. Oh, my internet is giving me so much. Okay. Give me a moment, class. My internet is really giving me some, really giving me some trouble. Just a moment. I don't know why it's not sharing my screen. Okay, let me see if this works now. I don't know if it's only my internet taking so long. 
Can you see my screen? You're no longer present. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, because in my next device, I cannot really see. Okay, so these are the two examples. From these two examples, take a look at it and share what you think can be a rule. I'll give you two minutes also, and then we start sharing. I'll leave two minutes and then we'll start sharing. After third time, five. So do whichever rules, just share when you are done, right? Remember, you are done. It sees a Miss, what happened? Hola. Yes, 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 I'm so sorry about that. My internet is unstable today. Okay, so I hope now you have come up with your rules. Have you finished? Yes, miss. Okay, let me hear some of what you of what you think. What happened, miss? I don't know, my internet is really not helping me today. I'm really not sure what's happening. Okay, so what rules did you came up with? Let me hear your thoughts. What do you think? happened in those questions. Convert 15 into a fraction, says um, Mari. Okay, convert 15 to a fraction. So what do we do next? Some of you are saying convert, convert. Convert. What else?
just converting and boom, that solves by itself? Or do we have to do some cancel, says Ryan? Okay, cancel, let's see. Okay, cancel. Remember, we, we want to find fraction of an amount of a whole or something. So if it is telling you a whole, is it asking you to convert? Hmm, that's a tricky question, right? But canceling can add a word. Okay, let me write that and then multiply. Okay, some of you have really good ideas, right? But let's see who can get closer. Multiplying. What else? Canceling. And I also saw, okay, two plus three minus 15. Okay, let us see who. Who was almost, can you see my screen? Okay. I'm sorry for that for that typing error. I don't know how it slipped. Okay, so we have two methods of finding a fraction. The first one is using images to group. So that is what you were to do with the stones. You were to group, right? So using images to help break up the fraction that can be a helpful and visual way of finding a fraction of an amount. The second one is using division and multiplication. Divide the amount by the denominator and then multiply that by the numerator to get the answer, right? So, in using images to group, have your little 16 stones there. We will follow with this example. What is 5, 6 of 30? Right? We will look at the denominator to see how many groups you need to separate 30. Because the denominator of 5, 6 tells you 6, right? Because we are looking at the denominator, we will divide 30 into 6 equal parts which is I have what I have there in the little image. Now separate 30 into six groups. You can represent 30 by using circles. That is what we just did, right? So let's follow up by also separating how many, by how much will we divide 16 then? That's 16 stones. By how much will we divide? Remember, I give you one fourth of 16. So by how much will we group these little stones? And so how many groups? Four. 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 Very good, four. right? If we are following this, we are doing four. So now what follows is look at the numerator. This tells you how many groups to look at in total. So because the numerator of this one is five, we will only look at four five groupings that we have there. We have six in total, right? But we only want five of those six. So if we take one, two, three, four, five, and we count how many of these are we have? 25. Why? Because we have, we are just looking at the five circles. Why? Because we only want five out of the six that we just made right so because we only want five of these groups we just count up to five so you notice that each circle has five dots so we count how many of those are in the total five and that is our answer so if we take this and we use it to, um with the example that i just gave you one four times 16 if we divide into four separate groups and I only want one of those groups, then how much do I have? Hello? 
How much do I have? Please, Miss Ella's my six stones, okay? We have four. Why? Because we divided by four, right? If we divide those six and little stones into four groups, each group has four. Am I correct? Each yes. little group has four. Yes. So you only want one out, one group out of those four groups. And if I count how many stones do I have in that little one group, there should be four, right? So moving on, we have using multiplication and division. To find a fraction of an amount, divide the amount by the denominator and multiply the result by the, by the numerator, sorry. Or we multiply the numerator of the fraction by the given number and then divide the product by the denominator of the fraction. So there are two ways in which you can do it. If you say seven over two or four, in this one, I divide by the denominator. So four divided by two gives me two. That two, I multiply it by the numerator and I have 14. Or what I can do is that I multiply seven and the four. Seven times four is? Seven times four is? 28. 28. How much is 7 times 4? 28. 28 is. 28. So I can. Very good, 28. So 28 divided by 2 is 14, right? So you can use either of, of those two, but you, as you notice, you use multiplication and division, right? So we are running out of time. So I will not work an example with you, but you will do that by yourselves. Let me just take a little look here. So what are the two methods to find a fraction of an amount? Division and multiplication. Division and multiplication. And the next one. What is the other one? One uses both addition and multiplication, and the other uses what? Remember the drawing with the little circles? How was that called? Answering. No, remember, I just Division. grouping. Very good, Ryan. Grouping. We group or we construct images and we group them, right? Right. That is easier for some of the um of you, and maybe it is not easy for others, right? But that is the main um mean of the two methods. First, we have the creating images to group using images to group and the second one using multiplication and four minutes so I'll give you two minutes and then we just share using our cameras right Using the two methods, so well, use the, um, the images to group. Let's do that quickly. Miss, when you yes. were first speaking, Miss, I didn't hear you nothing, Miss. Your audio goes to La NASA, Miss. <laughs> I I yeah I don't know why my internet is really giving me some trouble. I know sometimes I do not hear you at all, and when I listen, many of you are talking. 
So what will you do is find one eighth of the 50 centimeters using the two methods and we will share our answers, right? So let's do that quickly. Remember, use images to group and also using multiplication and division. So some of you that shared were really close to the rules, right? Remember when we are doing one eighth of 50 centimeters, our answer, our answer will also be in centimeters, right? I'm sorry, I don't know my why my internet is really giving me some trouble today. I cannot um, clearly see Ryan. I don't know if it's because of my internet. Okay, he has six and one fourth. Is that one fourth? Yes, miss. Okay, six and one fourth centimeters. Remember, I also have the two that you give. Okay, did you can you try doing the um grouping? Can I see anyone else's work before we leave? Just to see if you are on track. Six and a half says Maria. Answer is one eighth of fifty. If we do it, okay, twenty fifth over four. That's also six and one eighth, right? So and one fourth. Sorry, six and so if we divide the fifty by the eight, how much is that? Twenty five over four or six. And one fourth, right? And if we just multiply by one by the numerator, then we still have the same answer, right? So that is okay. I understand, um, Yuri, because I'm also having some trouble, and I know that I couldn't explain it fully to some of you because of the time and because of my internet problem, too. So tomorrow we will do more of this and work the problems with it, right? Remember, the steps are the same. Just review the PowerPoint and you can go to um, Google Classroom. I have posted the content there so you can see this information there also. So if you are to represent this in images, you should have how many circles? How many circles should you have if we are to represent into images? 50 circles. We should have eight. Why? Why should we have eight circles? Because remember the denominator is the amount of circles we have, right? So as I mentioned, I'm really sorry for my internet connection today. It was really not the best. And I couldn't do everything that I wanted to, but I will see you tomorrow. And hopefully, we will have a better, um, more examples and better explanation of this tomorrow, right? So that is the end of our class. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, Miss. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Miss. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Miss. I want to see you.
Thank you, Jara. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Goodbye, Edwin. Bye, Miss Goodbye, Alan. Bye, Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Reset. Bye, Miss Mai. Bye, Miss Katsim. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye, Miss Katsim. Bye, Miss Miss Christy. Goodbye, Valeria. Was it? <laughs> Goodbye, Mari. Bye, Loriani. Thank you. Bye, Miss. Goodbye, Kami. Goodbye. Oh, my Lani. Please. Yes, Ernest. I'll be honest oh, to you. Hi, my Miss Christy. Today, Miss, I didn't understand a lot, Miss, because I thought it was my internet, the Chino, Miss. I couldn't hear you very good, Miss. <laughs> I know my internet was really um giving me some trouble. I thought you were seeing my screen. Sometimes you weren't. Sometimes you weren't hearing me. But as I mentioned, I will... um explain a little bit more tomorrow because i don't know why my internet is giving a lot of trouble today even for my phone right so i am not using my phone today because of the same thing i usually have this um screen and i see my phone to see who is there who is typing in the chat box but i couldn't today because of the same reason right so hopefully tomorrow we can have a little more explanation about this and then we um do where the problems too right so don't worry we'll get to it Ernest. but thank yes, you for because i saw me that you were getting freeze me sometimes you were speaking me later on you were with a bunch of words talking me okay. and i thought it was my wife i mean because all this this it was it is working very good i thought it was